Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Designs by Dana. I am Dana and I'm also a Close to My Heart maker. This month I am working on the Christie's Beautiful Life March Sketch Challenge. So let me bring in the sketch and I'll show you what I'm working on today. This is the day one sketch and it is designed by Jesse Broad Merkel. And you can see it is designed here with some florals around the photo frame. I'm gonna switch that up just a little bit and do something a little bit different. So let me kind of set that aside here. And I'm going to bring in the photos that I'm going to use. These photos I think were from about 2014 maybe. Yep, 2014. So this is my oldest grandson, and it's actually Easter when these were taken, but you can't really tell from the photos. And uh, so we're gonna do something just kind of totally different with them. And I'm going to pull these out here and then show you the paper that I'm using to create this layout. I originally thought that I would do all of the challenges this month using paper from my stash to try to eliminate a lot of extra papers that I have on hand. But then I decided that I would use some of the current papers instead. So this is the paper that comes in the storybook paper packet. And on one side, you see all of these cool patterns. And I wanted to specifically highlight this paper because on one side, it's more boy focused. You can see it's got the dragons and the um, sword and more boy types of things. And then as I turn this over, you've got a whole nother set of designs. And this pattern is more girl focused where you've got the unicorns and the shoe and the mirrors and things like that. So it works for boys and girls, which is totally awesome. And then you can see we've got our product stripped at the top and on the opposite side we have the patterns on those. Then in addition to the paper, I typically will buy the sticker sheet that coordinates with the paper packet. Um, at least for the first one I buy. Sometimes if I buy multiples I don't buy extra sticker sheets, but I usually do start with at least one sticker sheet. And finally, I tend to always buy one package of the embellishments that coordinate. So these are the embellishments. We're gonna use just a few of these for the layout and we'll see how it looks when we get that done and see if we need to pull any more out. So I've already got some of those pulled out and we'll see how we do with that. So let me get all of this out of the way and then we'll come back in and get started. Okay, so I got my Versa mat in here and I'm gonna bring in all my pre-cut pieces starting with a white base page. It's going to be fully covered. And then I'm gonna bring in all of my strips of paper. And when I'm working with the layout like this, I tend to start with the outer edges and work my way in. And I will cut one piece a little bit larger than the other, just so I don't have any um, accidental gaps. So you can see that my mist paper there is just a little bit larger than my honey butter pattern paper. Now that um, square piece of mist cardstock is measured at seven and a half by seven and a half and that's going to hold my photos now you may remember that honey butter was not a color in this pack of paper and i pulled that in by using evernote because i also use it to inventory my paper packets so i was easily able to put in that color and find a paper packet that would have a nice coordinating pattern that I could pull in really easily. Now what I'm doing um, once I have this laid out, I wanted to show you that I'm going to incorporate the storybook scrapbooking stamp set and thin cuts. I cut the dragon out and I colored it in with the coral shades and coral blend and the colorless blender and he's going to go right down here in the corner and now we're ready to embellish. Okay, now we're ready to embellish, but before I glued this square down with my photos, I um, wanted to bring that stamp set back in 
and I'm going to mark off where that photo mat's going to go. And I'm going to use that um, dragon scale piece and the little arrow. So I brought in my black ink, and now that I've got it marked off, I can line that up, and hopefully I can do this without getting my head in camera. So I think I am able to get most of that done. And I'm lining that up, and now I'm decide that I need to maybe mask that off a little bit. So I'm gonna do some masking and layering this down just a little bit and kind of taper it off while I stamp that in. And you can see how I use that removable masking tape to mask that off and it works really well. And I really like how that's turning out. So I'm gonna experiment with that just a little bit more and put a couple more rows up on the side and I'm really happy with how that turned out. Then I'm going to bring in the arrow stamp and just add a couple arrows here and there throughout that side of the layout. And I think I'm gonna stop there and then maybe come back to the arrow. So I can go ahead and get this photo mat adhered down and then we'll start with the rest of the embellishments. I know that I want my dragon popped up but before I can do that, I need to decide if there's anything I want to go below him. So I have my sticker sheet, and then I pulled out some stickers that I knew I wanted to use. And I like to use wax paper to audition my stickers. So here's some that I knew I wanted to use, and I think I want these flowers down here at the bottom of this picture here. So I'm going to put those down, and then I can overlay or have that dragon kind of overlap the flowers. So I'm going to put those down and then I can pop the dragon up kind of over the flowers. So I have to bring in my foam tape for that and unfortunately I have to keep my foam tape locked up because the cat likes to steal it and surprisingly she's not around in my video today. <laughs> but I'll get that popped up. Now one tip with the wax paper, it works really great to um, audition your pieces, but the longer the stickers stay on the wax paper, the longer or the harder they become to get off. So I wouldn't put them on the wax paper for an extended amount of time. I had mine sitting on here for a little while and they kind of got a little difficult to come off. So I've got these little um, embellishments that I pulled off of that embellishment sheet and I wanted to put this heart in the center of the dragon. I thought he turned out really cute. It's like he's holding a heart. So now I'm going to play around with some more stickers. You can see here this one doesn't want to come up too easily. And I know I want to pop this one up as well. So we'll go back to the foam tape stickers and get that one popped up. And I want it to overlap those flowers too. I, I didn't like how the flowers just have that hard stop at the bottom. So I wanted lots of overlapping and layering in this cluster set. Um, I did want the, the title down here because I was trying to keep consistent with the sketch as much as I could, but I decided I don't like that little sticker up there. So I put the star up and I like that a lot better. So I'm going to move my stickers around just a little bit and play around with that until I get happy with it. Now these stickers, I knew I wanted to go up here in this top right photo and have them overlap. And of course I want to pop them up because if you guys know my style, you know that I like to pop things up as much as possible and have lots of dimension on my layouts. So we're going to get rid of the wax paper and get these popped up. And for the final embellishments, I'm just going to bring in some little stars and starbursts from that black um, chipboard piece. So. All I have to do is just get my glue and tweezers and kind of spread those out a little bit. And we'll get those spread out and see if we're happy with that. And then decide if we need to bring in some more from the compliments um, packet. But as I spread these out, I'm just using my Close to My Heart tweezers, which I absolutely love and highly recommend. And I'm trying to do some little visual triangles with these and and splattering them kind of out in the uh, different areas. So you'll see a little bit of that in the works as well. 
And here's the last one. And then I decide that I do want to bring in that arrow stamp again. So I'm gonna double check my sticker sheet and there's nothing else I really think needs to go on. So we'll bring in the, the ink and the arrow and we're just gonna stamp a few more, not a lot. Um, I probably could have actually gone without adding these, but I thought, you know, what the heck, why not? Um, so I'm gonna add a couple more and then I decide that I should add some on the other side so it's not just one-sided. So I'll add a couple on the left side as well, and that just about covers up all of the embellishing. And I think that finishes it.